G'day guys, it's Calvin, Catching Company in New Zealand. So we just saw a customer wiring up his engine for the first time on one of our uh, wiring looms that we've done from. And I'll show you what the what I see a lot of and what we begun with on that job. We got broken. We've got ugly. We got more broken. We got bead wires. We got stuffed connectors. It's just ugly. And I see a heap of wiring rooms like this, heaps and heaps of them. And I'm often told, hey, this loom doesn't look too bad, but when you really get into it, they're just absolutely stuffed. Now these dogs will chew anything, except those wiring rooms, because they're that bad. And realistically, they're not commercially viable to fix. It's going to cost me far more to fix this than, an, than another solution. So let's look at some solutions and I'll show you what we can do to solve this sort of problem. It was going. It was. Ready? Yep. The solution has been fitted up to the engine. So we, we popped it on. Uh, this one, we're, we sometimes get a little bit short of the idle speed control unit. So we just, we attacked here with the die grinder just to thin it down. I prefer the ones that go, the, the plug goes this way on these setups, but we can't always get them. These ones work really well with coil on plug. Of course, we go along the side with the injectors, and we've got a purge solenoid. So on the link versions, that can be operated. There's an igniter to mount on the firewall, nicely. This one's got the fuel pressure sensor here. Some of them do go, can go on the other side. So Jason did a little bit of uh, exploratory drilling, and uh, tested whether there was enough meat in the fuel rail. We're actually probably going to move that one over a little bit if we do another one but allows us to use the same rail and pop the sensor in, in the front here. I like fuel pressure. It is, the, the plug is in the loom standard, but we don't supply the, the sensor. That's a bit of an upgrade. And then for oil pressure, this particular one just gets uh, oil pressure light. That fella. Though it can be upgraded to this kind of sensor or a sensor which has got pressure and temp. We've gone in and we've tested both of those circuits actually work. Comes down here for your crank angle sensor and your cam angle sensor. And in that plug there, I've also got a spare wire if you want to do air conditioning. Along this side, 
throttle position sensor, the injectors, coil, temp sensor for the dash, that one, and temp sensor for the ECU. Cold start is not connected, that can be deleted. Air temp sensor, we generally fit them in the throttle body, like that, we've got other videos on that. And around the back here, we've got um, several different looms which can go under the intake. With the link, we can do knock sensor control. So it's funny with my EMUFs on. We are about 1200 millimeters from, the, from that point there to the ECU. Vacuum line is included. We've got a can plug. So that allows us to connect into dashes. Can lambda. I do like can lambda units, they're a great idea. There's a dash plug. It's got uh, water temp, oil pressure, a couple of outputs from the ECU. Did you put a high level taco on this one? No. No high level taco. Use the ECU output. And. Couple of extra outputs there and an input. Comes with the relays and fuses. So we test all those. It's a standard unit that we use to a standard wiring plug. So regardless of the ECU you're fitting, that set of relays will fit in all of our aftermarket setups. Unless we make something custom. Um, should we make it go? Bump bump. Make it go. Uh, Okay, to make it go, oh, we got a fan output there, fuel pump, and I did find out that fuel pump connected to that one doesn't do anything. Uh, power in, and that one, and starter, oh, you're holding it, you got it. So this is a, a really good solution when you don't have a good standard loom or your ECU's worn out. Uh, and, and it's a really simple way of fitting them up and gives an aftermarket computer. I'll run through a couple of other videos on some of the other aspects of these. Um, and we do the same setup for both the Link single plug and the Haltech single plug. Both have got their good points um, and their compromises. We are aware of that, uh, but um, becoming a really, really good option because we're seeing far more uh, standard ECUs failing. So we're opting this way on a lot of them, especially for those manual jobs. Manual transmission, eh? Manual transmission. Right, let's get it, take it off and um, put another one on to test. Manual Yeah. Manual Hope that's been helpful. Talk to you again soon. We'll catch you later.